That's our newest one. Couple months old. You want to pet her? Yeah, what's your name? Shimmer. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you missed in The Last of Us Episode 6. Are those monkeys? Must be from the old labs. For this list, we're looking at the best references, Easter eggs, and foreshadowing from the sixth installment in the post apocalyptic series. If you aren't caught up to the show or haven't played The Last of Us games, beware of major spoilers ahead. If you could only save one movie to play during the fungi apocalypse, what would you choose? And did you catch that the girl that looked at Ellie looks suspiciously like the video game love interest Dina? What? What's wrong with you? What about her manners? Let us know in the comments below. Sneaky giraffe Easter eggs. Our heroes had quite a few conversations about animals this week. Sheep. They're quiet. Do what they're told. However, we only had eyes for giraffes. After we talked about how the show nodded to an emotional Last of Us video game moment with the tall animals, the series seemed to double down on the Easter eggs. The first hint can be spotted while Ellie is looking through another girl's diary. Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys, movies, deciding which shirt goes with which skirt. If you look at the window ledge, you can spot a stuffed giraffe toy. There's also a poster of the animal that appears in the room. Since the giraffes appear in the game's narrative after a section of the story where Ellie helps Joel heal, it seems like we're closer than ever to the live action moment. Until then, we guess we can settle for sheep. So just you and a bunch of sheep. Romantic. Sarah's last day was close to Bella Ramsey's first day on Earth. Sarah was Joel's daughter. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Throughout the episode, reminders of Joel's daughter Sarah are everywhere. The most sobering piece of information about her is the plaque that lists the day she died. It turns out the particular date is extremely close to an important day in Bella Ramsey's life. Maria told me about Sarah and... No. Don't say another word. While the plaque lists that Sarah died on September 27, 2003, Ramsey was born just three days later on September 30th, 2003. Since Ellie is 14, Ramsey is around five years older than the character they're playing. It's likely that the incredibly close birth and death dates are just a bloater-sized coincidence, but there's no question that Ramsey is great at playing the teenage Ellie. Kids around here don't usually look or talk like you. Right. Well, maybe I'll teach them. Become a Watch Mojo channel member and get exclusive perks like Mojo emojis, loyalty badges, priority comment replies, and exclusive members-only content, including live list rankings with the Mojo staff and peeks behind the scenes. Don't miss out. The hidden symbolism behind the big movie night. Ellie Garfield, I'm moving into the other room. Oh? Yeah, I'm a friend of uh, Tony's, you know, Tony DeForest. During the episode, Ellie notably leaves a public screening of the rom-com The Goodbye Girl right in the middle of the film. She may have cut out early because the themes of the movie hit a little too close to home. In the famous film, lead character Paula is abandoned by her lover at the beginning of the story. After she starts developing feelings for a man named Elliot, she starts wondering if he'll take off too. No, you go, Elliot. I want you to go. If you come back, fine. I'll be here putting up my wallpaper. And if not, that's okay too. I'll miss you, but I'll survive. The movie's plot perfectly mirrors what happens between Ellie and Joel when he attempts to split the two of them up. Fortunately, neither she nor Paula gets abandoned by the person they've come to care about by the end of their respective stories. You deserve a choice. I still think you'd be better off with Tommy. Let's go. Tommy's first child in any medium. Months. I'm gonna be a father. Maria's a few months long now. Joel's reunion with Tommy plays out differently in a few subtle ways between the different mediums. While the brothers get into a violent shootout with some raiders in the game, their first meeting in years on the show is much more easygoing and breezy. Joel is also a little bit more reluctant to tell his brother about Ellie's immunity during the series. But in the game, Tommy is let in on this huge secret almost immediately. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, come her, on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men, and nothing. However, the biggest departure between mediums is the fact that the Miller family actually gets a little bit bigger in live action. Tommy and Maria never had a child together in the game. Since the show's version of the character is expecting a kid, he has a stronger and completely relatable reason why he's not willing to risk everything for Ellie. Be honest, I'm scared to death. 
But I don't know, I, I feel like I'd be a good dad. A primate may have been a big problem. Are those monkeys? Must be from the old labs. <laughs> Look at them go. First time seeing a monkey. The monkeys seemed like innocent little creatures for Ellie to marvel over, until one of them was behind a big jump scare. However, that may not be the scariest thing a primate has ever done in this world. Shortly after you encounter monkeys in the game, players can find an optional recording in a lab. It reveals that a primate infected with cordyceps bit a scientist while he was doing tests. Hearing that a monkey could have been behind a viral outbreak on the campus reminds us of the iconic opening to 28 Days Later. But even if primates were responsible for a few people getting infected on campus, they definitely were not the main cause of the outbreak. It makes more sense than monkeys. Thanks. Joel doesn't have a great fall. Joel! <laughs> In the episode's most shocking moment, it's revealed that Joel was severely injured after being ambushed by an enemy at the college. A piece of the bat the villain was wielding unfortunately managed to pierce Joel's body. As gruesome as this injury is, it looks like a scratch compared to what happened to his video game counterpart. When Joel is caught by surprise by a college enemy in the game, he ends up falling off a balcony right on top of a piece of rebar. Ellie has to pull him off of the metal before they can get going. Let's get to the damn horse. Letting Joel get injured by a wooden weapon instead of a fall may have just looked more realistic in live action. Joel, you gotta get up. But as an added bonus, ditching rebar helped the scene avoid any visual comparisons to a similar incident on The Walking Dead. The actress behind Maria is no stranger to apocalyptic content. I told you children are capable of anything. I taught them help them become what we are because they can't be soft. Since we're already talking about The Walking Dead, it is a great time to highlight Rutina Wesley. Before she appeared as Maria on The Last of Us, she appeared in a wide variety of notable projects. Many viewers may remember Wesley's huge role as Tara on True Blood. Okay, okay, you spoke to him for like a minute. You don't know how many people he's sucked the blood out of over the last however many centuries he's been alive. But he's so not scary. Sweet Jesus in heaven, so he is a vampire. She's also been in everything from Arrow to Queen Sugar. While we love all of Wesley's work, we couldn't help but give a special shout out to her stint on The Walking Dead. She played Jocelyn, an old friend of the sword-wielding Michonne. Their reunion seemed to go pretty well at first. However, it was later revealed that Jocelyn was in charge of a group of children who were willing to do pretty sinister things for their leader. We're glad she plays a character that is 1,000 times better with young people on The Last of Us. Glimpses into Ellie's future. You can do anything you want. Where are you going? What are you doing? Although Ellie was still thinking about what she'll do with her life after meeting up with the Fireflies, the sixth episode gave us plenty of hints at what she'll get up to. The narrative provided yet another hint that Joel will take Ellie to a space exhibit in the future. Additionally, she was introduced to a very specific horse. No way. That's our newest one. A couple months old. You want to pet her? Yeah, what's your name? Shimmer. Shimmer. You're so beautiful. Shimmer would go on to become a loyal companion for Ellie throughout the second game. Last, but certainly not least, we saw the immune survivor devote time to taking care of sheep in The Last of Us Part Two. While Ellie may make fun of Joel for wanting to do the same on the show, she may take up the profession to feel closer to him in the future. It's kind of sheep. We'll see. I'm so closer to your dream. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.